Because of the risk of burglaries and other issues, many areas of the Black Forest remain inaccessible to the general public. 7 News reporter Russell Haythorn getting an up-close look at an area that is once again open. And many, Russell, many of the homes left standing still have property damage. Yeah, right here, for example, and they'll have to rebuild this vinyl fence, which simply melted under the intense heat of the Black Forest fire. And then over here beyond the pasture, you can see this home is still standing, but the work has already begun inside. They're cleaning down the walls, the carpets, the vents, trying to get rid of that smoke smell inside. And there's a common sentiment here in the Black Forest today among the residents, gratitude to the firefighters who saved so much. Sometimes, this is great. The most meaningful things come in the smallest form. I have two koi ponds out back. Like the note. I didn't leave any paper on them. What's a piece of paper? Debbie Stallnaker discovered on her back porch yesterday. 616, hello. I just wanted to let you know we fed your fish and turned the big pond water on. Hope all is well. BLM engine 1419 Craig, Colorado. And then on 618, there's a little line drawn in it, fish fed. Rocky Mountain Fire Department, Boulder, Colorado. Those guys decided that they were saving our home was savable and they saved it. Some of Stallnaker's neighbors on East Coachman Drive weren't as fortunate, not that there wasn't an effort to defend their homes too. We have friends that have lost everything and they're going to rebuild and we will help them rebuild and we will have margarita parties again. Yeah. <laughs> as for the koi. Not a single one died. They are, you know, fish, but I can't believe that they would go to that. As for that, no. Frame it. <laughs> Frame it, frame my, my daughter already put it on her Facebook page. And you can see the blackened hillside here. This is the property adjacent to Stallnakers. The people who live here actually lost their garage with, I'm told, a bunch of antique classic cars inside. But their home is still standing. So again, a case of a lot to be grateful for. Live in the Black Forest, Russell Haythorn, 7 News.